Hello everyone and welcome back to Hayes Kitchen. Today I am joined by Alex from... France, Paris actually. So we thought, why not get someone in from France? Perfect with French cuisine. And we do Thanks. maybe two Italian recipes. How's that? Italian recipes? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I come all the way from Paris to make an <laughs> Italian recipe. All right, I can do an Italian recipe. <laughs> right, so I am going to be doing um, a slight twist on uh, an Italian classic. I'm going to be doing a gnocchi, but I'm going to do it with sweet potatoes, a little bit of gluten flour. Um, we're going to fry that off in a little bit of butter, a little bit of sage, a little bit of chive, and finish that off with a little bit of parmesan over the top. Mm, looks decadent to me. <laughs> and Alex, what are you going to do with dessert? So definitely we are going to make uh, something secret for the moment, but you get a pop of on my channel to see what it's like. Click here. Two sweet potatoes, so about 500 grams. So we're going to roast that up in the oven, 200 Celsius for about an hour. Yes! So what we do now? Tell me about your channel. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of an elevator speech? What? An elevator speech. No. Elevator speech is basically, it's like a company method so that, say if you wanted to sell me your company or tell me everything that your company does, you've only got a 15 second journey, you've got an elevator. Wow, 15 so seconds we've journey. got in the lift, tell me about your channel. Okay, so my channel is basically all about funny recipes. Um, you know, just trying to understand more what we do in the kitchen. It's definitely not only about French food, it's about fun. international food and fun. Go and check it out though, because it is extremely funny, extremely funny, and some weird stuff going on there as well, like slow motion cameras and no, things. No, it's not. But also a great chef as well. Right, so first up, let's get on with some hot water, please. Get that up to temperature on a low bubbling heat. Gonna literally salt and pepper, and that's it, just a little bit of season. Okay. Look at these little things. Oh, so cute. It's not a chef thing. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> here they come. Perfect. Just place them here. Now with things like the potatoes, you want to let that cool down slightly so you can still deal with it with your hands because we're essentially going to be rolling that up. So let them cool and you can just literally, wow, leave them five, ten minutes. So convenient. And I'll get the messy jobs, David, you're right. Uh, I'm, I'm perfect because I get a French manicure so I can't do French anything. Manicure. In that case, you can, with those beautiful nails, squash that. Oh, nice. Through there. Well, thank you. You did all the, 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 the easy stuff. Yeah. And who's mashing the potatoes with bare hands? Yeah, will it come out at some point? Oh, <laughs> it's a joke. If you're a professional, have the water boiling before starting filming. Just an idea. A little bit of mess for yes. you again, please. Egg yolk into there. So, 500 grams of sweet potato, one egg yolk. Usually with this type of thing, you use two, but because it's sweet potato. Mm -hmm. I don't need to teach you this. I don't know why I'm trying. I don't know. He's a chef. I don't know why I'm trying to teach him. Teach you you can teach me. I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I can always learn something. Sweet potato is very sweet. It's also very wet. There's a lot of moisture in there. Oh. So you don't want to put too much egg in there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you put, end up overcompensating, putting lots of flour in, and it becomes really dull mm. and stiff, which is the worst. You don't want that. So mix that through. And here we're going to go in with two different flours. Now, if you're gluten intolerant, if you're a celiac, like I always say, make sure you use your gluten free. If you're not, just use normal flour because you're not intolerant to it. Um, we're going to use something called spelt flour, which I've been banging on about recently. As I say, it's better for me to do with the gluten content being water soluble. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of flour. So what is the ratio between flour and uh, sweet potato? Uh, you're looking at about 90 grams to 500 grams. A fifth. Or a fifth. <laughs> or let's say a fifth. <laughs> Smart us! <laughs> right, I'm going to mix that in. And as that starts to come together, we're going to do the messy thing of going in with our hands. Again, no, no, don't look at me. A little bit more. Flour your size, if you don't mind. Yes. Yeah? I mean, flour your size. Flour, you want, to flour, you want me to flour my side, what, that's what you want. Flour over here. You, you really want, I, okay, so I thought you were saying flour goes my side. Uh, All right, I can. It. Right, but, as it starts pulling together, you can go in with your hands. I like how you speak. You get yeah. some rhythm when you speak. <laughs> flour. There's always Amen. rhythm. I'm born rhythm. Yes. Right, mate. So I'm gonna give you half of this mix and we're gonna have a knocky off. Okay. One of those. Have you done knocking before? 
Yes? Yeah. Are you good at knocking? No bad. No bad. The best. <clears throat> Obviously, I've trialled this recipe numerous times. Ah, okay. Like, <clears throat> I, I made this up last night, so. So you're gonna roll that out, and usually what you do is, I've made quite a lot here, I don't need to cook all of that. You're just gonna roll out, and using your fingers, just roll it backwards and forwards until you get a nice, thin sausage shape. Flatten the knife, two centimeters, flatten the knife. That's done. You're just gonna chop them off into little sections. Now you can roll these on the back of your fork if you want to get a little impression on there. <laughs> Not saying anything. I'm, do I'm doing it with so much passion <laughs> that it's basically slowing me down. All right, all right. Thanks, mate. Knocky knife? Yes. Pillows, small pillows. Little pillows, please. Water's bubbling away. Just gonna pop them in. Good, looking good. I think they, they, they are done, basically, you know? Yeah. As, as soon as they float. Drain. Literally, just going to go straight in. What a clever man you are. I've never did that in the past before. I should be. Never, never. Perfect. Only leaves those couple of seconds just to cool down. Yeah, they are firmer too. The cold is just, you know, making them a bit firmer. Right, we can get a pan up to heat. Noki's nice and cold, and we're just going to put a little bit, some chives, yes. and just lightly chop them for me. Cool, I can, certainly can. And we're just going to pick off some fresh sage as well. Now the sage itself, we're just going to crisp off through the butter, and that is going to pack it, absolutely pack it full of flavour. Lovely job. So into your hot pan, you just put a little bit of butter, well a good knob of butter. As you've got a slight foam to it and a slight, that small amount of bubble, so you go in with your knocking. Ooh. Sage. Mm. Sage is one of my favorite That's herbs smell, ever. Isn't it? It's so pungent and so, it's so powerful. A little bit of salt and pepper. Just a little bit of black pepper. Oh, nice. So cute. Wow, that skills. Oh, yeah. Chives? No? Yes, please. Now these are going to be quite delicate, so you just want to lightly brown them. Ooh. Smell that straight away. Ooh. Toss that through. Little serving bowl. Ooh. Parmesan. Ah, my favourite part of the video. Don't be shy with it. Get lots on there. Told you about the cheese first of all. Make sure there's loads on there because that's going to melt down beautifully. And we're just going to go on there with it. A little bit of rocket. Wow, look at you. And that is your simple sweet potato gnocchi. Done healthy. Lovely. Should we give it a try? Yes! The naughty part. Soft, sweet, mm. salty, pepper. Mm. So there we go, my beautiful sweet potato gnocchi. We've got parmesan, a little bit of rocket, and we've got that beautiful sage infused butter. You can't get any taste in that, and it's actually quite good for you. So it's a perfect twist. Now, if you do get recreating this one, hashtag me, it's Hayes Kitchen as always. And don't forget to check out Alex's channel where he's going to be making the most beautiful backup to this dish. So another twist on an Italian classic, you're going to be doing a sabayone, which is an Italian dessert, which is a bit naughty because we put some alcohol in it, but at the end, it's the most luxurious, creamy dessert you have ever tasted. So click here, you've got to watch this one. It is pretty awesome. Eat this and then eat Alex's and you'll see what I mean. They go together perfectly. Um, if you want to know more about your channel, you can just go through to French Guy Cooking on YouTube. But, but, Click in the description but, 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 box to go through. Please watch yeah. some of this stuff. It's good fun. Go and subscribe. Give me some love. We'll see you next week. Cheers then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Salut.